Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to take a look at my... Uh, it's going to be a little small collection, but... Yeah, my PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find PlayStation 1 games where I live at. Now, some of them that I kept for many, many years and bought them brand new. So, let's get it on. All right, all right. Now, let's go. Now, this one here, I have to put it in another case. My uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Uh, my original case got messed up pretty bad when we moved place to place and got damaged. So, but I got it in, in this case right here. And when I want it, I just press that button. And it comes out right there. And we got Marvel Superheroes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Marvel superheroes. Who doesn't like Marvel? Man, I love that right there. And we got here, look at here, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like Toy Story? Who doesn't like Buzz? Come on. If you like any of these games, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Come on. Let's get into it. And then we got Tigger's Honey Hunt. Woo! <laughs> hey, buddy boy. Uh, uh, sorry, Tigger. We we talk to you a little bit later on. Now. Oh yeah, let's get on to the next one. And we got X Men Mutant Academy Two. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I can remember the cheat code that you put on there where you can unlock all the characters. And plus, you could play as Spider-Man on here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, who doesn't like X-Men? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite X-Men? Please leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite X-Men is. All right. And and I got this one right here. Now, now, now before, let, let me tell you some decent details about this game here. Um, bought this brand new. I don't know if it's an error or not, but you know it says it's supposed to include Resident Evil 3 Nemesis demo disc. But when I opened it up, you know, playing the game and stuff, then I said, I thought, well, I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I don't know what that marker thing, I guess it would have, but it was brand new, so I'm going to put marker price on the thing on there instead of putting stickers. But I bought it brand new. And this thing here might have a little value to it. Dino Crisis. Because when I open it up. Let's see if I can. Look. This is not a demo disc. It's the full Resident Evil 3 Nemesis game. It don't says demo on there or not. Because I put it in there. And it's the whole freaking game. Not no demo. And I bought this thing brand new. And I was thinking like, dude, that was sick. So please leave a comment and let me know what you think. You think this is an error that the factory made a mistake to put a full game instead of demo? Because, you know, because I liked a lot of demo disc and stuff. And it would just say demo disc on there. But this has the freaking full game it's not a demo so i believe it's an error so i and it and both discs is excellent and i always take good care of my games and i love dino crisis you know my like kind of like jurassic park oh yeah uh i uh, i love dino crisis uh to me they ought to make a remake remaster of that version right here that's what they need to do because they've done a lot of new version of resident evil so they need to do this one please do this game here 
And don't forget to leave a comment on what y'all think about if that's an error or not. Okay, then we got this one here. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Ooh, yeah, this one here, you know, you know, you can't help but, you know, uh, wonder how thick this thing is because it's a two disc game. So I guess I don't know, which I ain't even played this one here yet. Uh, I don't know if one disc you play is that dude and another disc you play her or you play half. A game of one disc and half of the other. So I, I, I don't know because I hadn't played this game at all. But I said, I said, man, I just got to have it. So when I picked it up, I said, man, I just got to have it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And check it out. And especially this one, Spider-Man. But all the Spider-Man games that I played, to me, this is my favorite one. To me, this is my favorite Spider-Man game of all time. Y'all could say, oh, man, what about the one for the PlayStation 4 and stuff? I'd be like, yeah, it's cool, but you could also get lost. But this one here, you, you don't get lost much on that. <laughs> but, but still, I just love it because it's so funny. I mean... I mean, all the villains on there are so funny. I mean, that's my favorite Spider-Man game. <laughs> Even though I got the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man, you know, which you've seen on my other video. And I got Arcade Party Pack. This one here's got a whole bunch of old classic games on there. Got like Rampage, Smash TV, and... 720 or was that 70Q? Don't know. I just don't know. I I don't know what happened to this game here. Uh I guess I must have lost it doing a move or less when I sold my original. Come on this Power Ranger game here. I sold my uh my PlayStation 1, the original, because I needed money. And because why I keep all these here, because I got a PlayStation 3 that plays 1, 2, and 3. And so I guess I must have made a mistake because when I want to try to replay this in here. Here, let me show you. Ah! It's <laughs> Tiny Tunes. There's my Tiny Tunes in this thing here. Yeah, because I lost a case to this one here. And I guess when I sold my PlayStation 1, I must have forgot to take my Power Rangers out of it. Bummer. Okay. Ooh, now this is the basketball game right here. Space Jam. Yeah, and watch out, that and what's good. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't love Space Jam? I got Space Jam 1 and 2 movie, and plus I got this cool Space Jam game. Uh, to me, that's my favorite basketball game. To me, it is. Because you're playing this at Monstars or the Looney Tunes on there, and plus Michael Jordan. And, and then I got news for y'all. After Michael Jordan and uh, Shaquille O'Neal retire, basketball wasn't the same to me because those are my two favorite players. Uh, okay, then we got my Disney kitchen. Look at there. This is when you could cook for Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and they could come eat your cake or whatever, whatever you cook and they... Blah, 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 and tell you how good and all that stuff. And just take a look at Mickey Mouse. Got his tongue licking right now. Oh, yeah. And plus I got uh, Crash Bash. Like I said, some of my cases went missing. I guess I could have lost them on my move. Maybe, maybe that's what happened on my, on my Power Ranger. I probably lost a disc. 
Oh, either I sold it on my PlayStation 1 system. And I got another uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, warped. Who doesn't love Crash Bash? Ooh, here we go. Another X-Men Children of the Atom. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like X-Men? Oh, yeah. If you see any game so far you like, hit that like button. Come on, hit that like button. Bing! Bing! And also do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I might do some more crazy stuff. If you want to see me do crazy stuff, say, hey, do some crazy stuff. And I got the also Toy Story 2. Yeah. Let's get it on. Toy Story 2. Yeah. Yeah, then I got, oh, look at here. Got ready to rumble boxing. This is the very first one. For a boxing game, I like that right there for a boxing game. But I think I like the second one the best. If you catch my drift. <laughs> and a plus I got Looney Tunes Racing. This is a fun kart racing. Kind of reminds you of like Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart and stuff. And I love Looney Tunes. I like Looney Tunes. And a plus I got, you know, the first one. X-Men Mutant Academy. This is the very first one. Yeah. And here's my last of my PlayStation 1. Like I said, a lot of times I we trying to buy a whole bunch of uh, PlayStation games. And, and it's just kind of hard for me to find PlayStation 1. Where I live at. And in fact it's kind of hard to even find games in my area. Uh, the closest game store I could go. I had to travel a good bit. About almost four hours away. Would it worth it? Yeah it probably would. But I just. I just ain't. You know. You, you in a, ah, This is a fun game right here too. And I think they have this game here. I think on a Nintendo 64. If I'm not mistaken. But I like it better on a PlayStation than I did on a on a 64. Yeah. You can't get no powerful warrior princess than her. Oh, yeah. And uh, I tell you the the, uh, the the actress is you know, you know play as her, you know. Uh Excuse me because you know uh is that, is that, uh, I, I always be bad with <laughs> the name of that show. I just call it Warrior Princess. <laughs> Dude, uh, uh, just excuse me because I can't, some names I just can't pronounce very good. So I don't want nobody getting mad and say, Dude, you're saying it wrong. So just say Warrior Princess. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the actress, when you know, the, you know, playing, hey, you know, she, uh, She's a pretty tall woman. And in fact, I believe she could play as a Wonder Woman. Who will agree? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And, uh, and what you think about it. If you see a game that you like that I show, hit that like button. And... <coughs> <clears throat> and leave a comment and let me know what your favorite PlayStation game is. Okay, I am out.